Hi, this is SnowboardAddiction.com, riding with Nev Lackwood and Dan Gerstner. This tutorial covers an advanced combination buttering trick. I call it the MFM butter because Mark Frank Montoya was the snowboarder who made this trick so stylish and popular. You start by opening up and nollying into the front side 180 direction. While in the air, shift your board back to butter on your tail, then ollie your counter-rotated front side 180 to finish the trick, landing switch. It's basically a nollie front side 180 with some buttery stuff in the middle. This butter is confusing and difficult to get your head around at first. Most riders tend to overcomplicate it while learning. In this tutorial, we break the physics and techniques of this butter down to the basics for you to learn it. Prerequisite techniques. The MFM is a combination of a nollie front side 180 and the tail butter front side 180. We have a whole tutorial on the tail butter 180s, so make sure you've watched and learnt that first. Static board off. The easiest way to get your head around this trick is to start by jumping the movements with your board off. Step one, nollie front side 180. Step two, nollie tail butter front side 180. Step three, the basic MFM movement is a combination of these two prerequisite tricks. Begin by opening up front side as if you're going to nollie into a front side 180. At about 90 degrees, nollie from your front foot, landing in a butter on your back foot. Then ollie from your back foot, completing the front side 180 to land switch. This is the basic movement required for an MFM butter. So practice this step several times. When you break it down with your board off, it becomes simple. Step four, a more advanced MFM butter uses the same movement with a shift of your board in the middle for style. This time as you roll up for the nollie, go past the 90 degree mark, nollie from your front foot and shift back slightly in the opposite direction, landing on your back foot, then ollie from your tail, completing a counter rotated front wonderland switch. Pay close attention to the difference between the basic MFM movement happening at around the 90 degree mark and a more advanced MFM movement, incorporating a shift back while in the air. Static board on. Try the same moves on a flat area with your board on. Step one, nollie front side 180. Step two, nollie tail butter front side 180. Step three, the basic MFM movement. Nollie while opening up in the front side direction. At a 90 degree angle, land in the butter on your tail, then continue with an ollie, finishing off the front one to land switch. This probably seems simple at this point, and it is. It's definitely harder and more confusing when you try it on snow. The better you can get at these movements here on the flat, the more chance you have of success in the real trick. Step four, a more stylish MFM movement. The last static exercise is a little trickier while on the flats. As you roll into your nollie, past the 90 degree mark, then shift your board back in the opposite direction to butter on your tail, then finish by ollieing to counter-rotate the rest of the front one, landing switch. Here's another look at the basic MFM movement when your butter happening at around the 90 degree mark and a more stylish MFM movement with the board shifting back in the middle of the trick. The key point here is to aggressively pressure the butter on your tail more than you do for most buttering tricks. This adds style and improves your ollie out. MFM while riding. Once you've figured out the movements on flat areas, you're ready to try this while riding. Step one, do a few nollie front side 180s. Step two, Nollie tail butter front side 180. You should definitely be able to do these two tricks easily every time before moving on. Step three, tie these two tricks together for the basic MFM movement. Approach on your heel edge and nollie in the front side 180 direction. At around 90 degrees, land in the tail butter, then ollie the rest of your 180 to switch. Step four, the actual MFM movement. As you roll into your nollie, try to pass the 90 degree mark. Shift your board back in the opposite direction to butter on your tail, 
then counter rotate the rest of your front one to right out the switch. Key points. After working through all the stepping stones, you'll need to spend a considerable amount of time on refining the actual trick. This is where it becomes confusing. Most riders overanalyze the movements and mess it up. Start with the simplest movement possible and slowly get better. Every time you get confused, step back and break down into static movements. Key point one. The shift of your board in the middle of the trick is a key factor of your stop. Approaching on your heel edge helps to initiate the front of momentum you'll need for this trick. As you nollie, try to pass the 90 degree mark with your board before bringing it back slightly to butter on your tail. Then, ollie and complete the 180 of this trick to land switch. Key point two. The tail butter part of this trick needs to be pressed aggressively for good style. In most buttering tricks, the nose or tail of your board only needs to be slightly off the ground. This is one trick where you can really put a lot of emphasis into the flex of your board. On this freeze frame, you can see that I'm pressing the board quite high from the ground. The whole trick happens pretty quickly, so you don't have to balance on your tail very long, and the more press you put into it, the better it'll pop you back out. Key point three. While buttering, your tail needs to be pressed mostly flat to maximize balance. There is a slight amount of heel edge to prevent catching. If you apply too much pressure to your heel edge while doing the MFM, you'll slip out. And if you don't use any edge, you'll catch and fall. Key point four. The last part of this trick is a counter-rotated front side 180 movement. If you analyze the position of your MFM while buttering on the tail, you'll notice it's the same position as the tail butter front side 180, which we have a whole tutorial on. Your upper body is opened up, ready to snap a counter-rotated front one out to land switch. This position is what makes the 180 happen easily. Key point five. The MFM butter is no more difficult to do switch than regular. In this tutorial, I've broke it down in only one direction for simplicity and to avoid confusion. But when out riding, I usually do them back to back in both directions and would encourage the same for you. Summary. The MFM butter is one of the most stylish flatland tricks. Not too many riders have figured it out due to its complicated and confusing look. It's basically a nollie front side 180 with some buttery stuff in the middle. Breaking it down into achievable steps is the easiest way to learn it. Make sure to do all the static exercises before trying it while riding, then keep your movements simple until you've mastered the basic idea. When you want to add style to your MFM, press your tail with authority and focus on getting past 90 degrees with a shift back in the middle. You're riding with Nev Lapwood and Dan Gerstner snowboardaddiction.com